G Herbo says his record label been stealing money from him his whole career, even after he sold his publishing for 15000 Yo, it's Big Swerve, man. Hey, everybody that know me, y'all know I don't bring my problems to the internet personal with nothing pertaining to my business at all, but this shit been like affecting my personal day-to-day -day life. So everybody that know me, Y'all know I'm independent, I'm signed to machine. I've been signed to machine since I was 16 years old, so I was a minor. My parents had to sign me over, you know what I'm saying? We've been family, been independent, made history. Boom. So, 16, first and foremost, I signed my publishing away for perpetual for 15 grand. But, Nate, he claimed he ain't no business i was young anyway so bottom line i got to the bottom of of course we got that back been a minute that contract so many times on for a short over the years been independent work with other labels sony red epic now we in republic system i never had a direct deal with the labels always been with with him with machine so over the years when we started generating money probably this was we was on the sony system like 19 Pull me to the side, like, bro, let me run your business for you. you know, I wasn't really business savvy, and this is somebody I trust with my life, like my brother, like a father figure. Let me run your business for you, bro. All right. <laughs> so, from then on, he's running my business, paying the bills, paying my bills, making sure everything paid, true staff, everything, everything all ran through him. I really was only playing on my ancillary bread, you feel me? Just having emotion on the ancillary, not the residual. I always control the residual. Long story short, 12 years later, I've been hearing rumors that I owed his money, right? That I owe him money. So, and I'm not I'm just sweeping under the rug. So, long story short, I go get up with him. I'm like, hey, bro, what's up with these numbers? Look at the numbers. One, right? And started, like, just thinking, 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 thinking. So, recently, we had a meeting. Me, him, uh, Mick, my old manager. Big Bro was in the room, uh, Coffee was in the room, Big Bro was in the room, his brother was in the room, OB, and my brother Mace was in the room. So we just having a conversation amongst us because I wanted witnesses there. So I talked to him, looking in the app, bro, this ain't right, you ain't right. You always control my business, right? Right. You always control the money, right? Right. To him. So it's like, long story short, I'm like, man, bro, it ain't working. You always told me if it didn't work, he was going to. Let me out the contract. So boom, it ain't work. I come to him, man, let me out the contract, sign me out. Sign me out. Three copies. But the thing is, I was about to really let him manipulate me because he good at this to leave out without nothing. And just let go back and forth between my lawyer and his lawyer, which we are still doing anyways. I'm like, nah, I already hear something draft. I'm like, you have to sign this in good faith. So after we leave the meeting, after we finish leave the meeting, everybody outside, Nick, uh, Coffee, and Macy still outside. I'm just thinking I'm outside with him. I'm talking. I'm like, nah, bro. He got to sign what I have right here in my head saying this, like, because I know him. Go back in the room with his brother having the first conversation. I said, brother, for me, you got to sign this out of good faith. For me. And we had figured out through the lawyers, of course, you know, of course he did. He signed three copies. Boom, shake hands after everything, lean. So now, after we finna do the artist and everything, because he know he did bad, it's a long video, it's going to f almost four minutes, I'm about to sum it up. So, I've been getting these calls from like my criminal attorney in Boston. My criminal lawyer been calling me, which he paid, I paid an, uh, pff, almost a, a million on this case. And he paid, because he paid my bills. My lawyer called me, because they know each other. I'm like, man, could you call me? He was using like a tactic with Esther. He's saying I made him sign his contract under the arrest and he's trying to like get me arrested for it. And I'm like, he got me blocked. My lawyer, like, can you call him? I try to call him on through. I'm like, can you call him? Like, you know what I'm saying? Got me blocked. But he's using these tactics, these manipulative tactics to take advantage. So I'm just coming here to say like, you can't win, you know? And all artists, young artists, you gotta stand your ground, man, with what's right, you know what I'm saying? And, I'm blessed to be able to do this, you know what I mean? I had the resources to be able to still provide for myself, my family, go to war in this way, the right way, the legal way, the righteous way, and win. And I just want to look in your eyes and tell you, you can't beat me. You can't.